Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other. All right, so before we start today's topic, a humble request to you all in regards to controlling the coronavirus, please stay back home. Just stay back home. Everything else can wait because if we are alive, then we can reconstruct what has been destroyed. So the first thing that needs to be understood right now is to break the chain. And that can only be done by isolating yourself to the maximum. I'm very sure whoever is watching this video is educated and has a very good sense of what and how much can things go in the wrong direction if we don't follow the protocol that has been led by the government. OK, also at this time of the crisis, it's not only important for us to understand the situation. It's also very important to make sure that others also should be on the same page or else the entire purpose will get defeated. OK, people are dying and they are dying in bulk. Thankfully, this situation has not arised in India till date, but seeing the way the people are behaving in India, it's not far that we all have to also face the same situation. Just imagine if any of your family member gets infected, the first thing they will do is to take him or her into isolation. And then if the health does not improve and the infection spreads further and reaches a stage wherein nothing can be done, then they will leave that individual as it is. In other words, they will leave the individual to die and that too in isolation. Neither the infected person nor any of his his or her family members will be allowed to meet him. You will not even know what all happened to him or her in the last moments of his life. The only thing you will hear from the officials is that he or she is no more. Just imagine these things and get scared. If this does not scare you, then I'm not sure what will scare you. And yes, it's important for all of us to be scared of this pandemic or else it will not be it will not take much time for the human race for the homo sapiens to get vanished from this earth okay so please 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 understand the seriousness of the situation and stay back home please okay for the first time i am i'm i'm really finding it difficult to switch my thoughts from this particular discussion towards the dis, uh, towards discussing about today's topic but but the thing is, everything should move simultaneously. We need to trade. We need to be safe. We need to complete our office work. We need to take care of our family. We need to do everything and the show must go on. So having that said, moving on to today's topic. One of the most asked questions for which I never have an answer is, Mangaldeep, what are the books that you have read? Or what are the books that we should refer or read in order to become a good trader? Well, the answer that I'm going to give might not go well with many of you, but I will state the truth. I will state, state my perspective towards this question. Okay. Well, till date, I have not read a single book in regards to trading. Okay. So the next question that would arise is, then how am I able to make consistent profits in the market? Now, my counter question to this question is, how are the books helping you to trade in the life market? I mean, you read some stuffs in the book, but how is it going to help you while trading life? Yeah, according to me, the only thing that will make you a good trader are your losses. OK, the failures you faced in your trades are the things that will actually make you learn the right things. OK, you have to be in the market. You have to get down and trade. You have to put in some money and trade real time if you want to learn how to trade well. As simple as that. 
okay no books nothing can help you trade well if you don't have a trader's mindset and the trader's mindset i'm talking about here it does not come to you by reading the books it comes to you when you trade in real time when you make the same mistakes again and again and finally realize that if i don't stop making this mistake i will not succeed okay and then you take out some time to relax your hormones and then come back again having a solid mindset along with some rules that you will follow while trading now again this thing is not simple the mindset the rules and all those things i'm talking here is not that easy to be followed in a single shot your mind will start playing games the moment you see the candlesticks moving the moment it is 9:15 in the morning and no one will or can come to your rescue unless and until you yourself realize the things that you should not be doing while you are trading i hope that is clear okay we all know right trading is all about psychology the numerous cells that run in your brain contribute to this psychology and do you really think that a book can change that and bring your psychology to a right track well i'm sure enough that you would be able to answer this question by yourself now okay the next big thing that we need to understand is that the guys who follow the books and stuffs they normally follow the book of the traders who don't trade in the indian market they are mostly in the us markets and the things are uh, and the things or the experience that the share via the books is in regards to the us markets and not the indian market okay so things will not be in sync the way the indian market behaves the way the indian market operates is very different than that of the us market okay their market is much more stable and ours is not so the things that you learn from the books cannot be applied practically in our markets when you are trading i hope that this makes some sense you are getting the point that i want to make here okay so all in all the baseline is i have never referred any books and have never read any books related to the stock market my learnings were purely on the practical basis wherein i traded i lost money i learned something from there i traded again i lost some more money and then learned again and this trail went on till i got the gist of what i was doing wrong and finally i fixed it and since then i have been minting money okay so i hope this was helpful guys and as i always say everything works in the market but in order to be consistently profitable you need to figure out the things that works best and in order to find the best thing you need to decide sorry you need to dedicate a lot of time and energy but one thing is for sure if you have the spark to make a thing work then it will happen and you will mint money from the market for the rest of your life okay so that's it guys and as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get to know some more details about hyit that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comments section below and i will surely answer back and also please do not forget to like this video if you liked it so that's all from my end and i will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading bye bye